Our big story tonight, it's about the United States and their inflation and their fight against inflation. So now, in what could turn out to be a major shot in the arm for U.S. consumers and for the U.S. markets as well, retail inflation for the month of May has come in at 4%, which means it is at the lowest point in a span of two years. The CPI, the Consumer Price Index, now that has increased just 0.1% in the month gone by, which makes it the smallest rise we've seen since March 2021. Yes, what's happening in the US markets, as expected, there is cheer over there in the wake of the inflation data that has been reported. And now we've seen the markets rise as much as 1% in early trade, but now some amount of pairing of those gains also taking place. The Dow Jones is currently up by four tenths of a percent, and I'm looking at the rest of the indices as well. The Nasdaq is up around four tenths of a percent as well, and the S&P 500 is up by about half a percentage point. It did go up all the way up to a percentage kind of gain, but now we are pairing some of those gains. But meanwhile, the focus is also on the FOMC meet in the US. That begins later today. What exactly is going to be uh, the kind of action that the Fed is going to take? Will there be a pause on in interest rates or not? That's the key question that I asked earlier this evening to my guest on our show, Russia Hour. Manish Singh was joining us, Chief Investment Officer at Crossbridge Capital. This is what he had to say about the inflation situation in the U.S. and what can be expected of the Fed now. I've always been saying that inflation is not a problem. I mean, what you will really face is disinflation that's coming down the line. Uh, so this CPI report clearly has a Fed pause written all over it, given the numbers we have seen. So it's highly unlikely that they're going to increase rates uh, when they when they conclude their meeting tomorrow. Uh, the focus uh, should shift to a pivot, but the pivot likely is not going to come at this meeting, probably not even at next meeting, but that is the next thing that everyone has to focus on. A uh, few other things to look at, because if you look at the PPI number, the PPI number in China is already pointing to disinflation. It's at minus 4.6%. So, the news this morning that China is considering a stimulus didn't come as a surprise to me because when you see this inflation number, then you have to uh, you have to um, get the inflation higher or 